hello again. The memory node is one of the coolest operator within Expresso because it's very useful. This node actually stores previous states and values and then you can use these values later on. The history depth, which is this value right here, we can use it to define the number of states that will be stored in this operator. I know this is not making any sense but with a very small example, I hope everything will be clear. So we do have these couple of objects within our viewport, the red ball and the yellow ball. Let me drag them into Expresso. Let me extract the position of both objects. And the input for the yellow ball, let me extract the same thing, the position. So let me first connect the position of the red ball to the input of the memory operator and then connect the output port of the memory operator to the position of the yellow ball. Now we can see that there is some odd result here. Now if we change the data type from real to Victor, now the yellow ball is taking the same place as the red ball, which is what we want. Now, if we take the red ball and move it, the yellow ball will just follow along, taking the exact same position as the red ball. If you notice, we do have this uh, rectangular that exists on the right side of the position x, y, and z, which means that these value are driving other values. Now, if we click on the yellow ball, we're going to see the exact same rectangular, but on the left side, which means that these values are driven by another value. I hope this makes sense. Okay, never mind. So, what the memory node actually do, as we said before, stores previous states. So, if we change this history depth, for instance, to 20, so we do have 20 states that has been uh, stored within this memory operator. Now the history level is very uh, exciting. If we put it to five, okay, now take the red ball and move it. See the yellow ball is inheriting the position of the red ball by five units, if we may say so. Now, if we just go back to the memory and put the history level to 10, and then uh, move the red ball again. So it's 10 steps or 10 units for that matter. So this is a great example of the memory node and what it does. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.